everyone. It's been a long time since I've put up a video on the HD Zero goggles. And honestly, that's because I've been way too busy testing these goggles daily with new firmware updates coming out and so on. So I've got to choose, do I want to prioritize testing these goggles and getting feedback back to HD Zero as fast as I can, um, or make a video for people to keep them informed. There's just a lot going on. Here's a few clips I've recorded with HD Zero goggle this weekend. Uh, you'll see the full length at the end of the video if you hang in there. Get like your own building dive right there. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I'm out of practice on that. It's pretty cool. And then I've also been testing the analog module. So this is how it works. You've got the little uh, jack right here. And then you have the adapter for analog. And you uh, slot it in like that. And then uh, just push, it snaps in. Uh, you can also screw it in place to make it a more permanent fixture. But this works pretty good. Um, so I just pop it out. And then uh, if I want to slot it in, I just slot it in. I've also been testing a new 90 FPS camera. And that is just really interesting. It's very smooth, butter smooth. So with 90 FPS, what I've noticed is when I make a turn, I'm able to like stop my turn at exactly the right time. And then uh, on an exit of a turn, I can lock on to my exit uh, more precisely. So I'm finding that I'm, I'm getting things a little bit closer than I normally would have. Um, I'll put up a video uh, later on in the week showing off some of the 90 FPS stuff, particularly how Noical is doing with 90 FPS, uh, because as you know, he's kind of an alien. He's one of the fastest racers in the world. Uh, so that'll be really interesting to see. I think the other interesting thing to see with the 90 FPS camera is the potential for maybe a higher penetration mode, where with 90 FPS, it's got to run at a, a lower 540p resolution. But if we ran that at 60 hertz, uh, 60 FPS, that would use less bandwidth and using less bandwidth should equal more penetration. Uh, the image looks fine. Uh, it's not as detailed as the 720p mode, but it is still a huge step up from analog in terms of stability and color accuracy. And of course, you're getting a lot more frames. Uh, it's one and a half times the frame rate of analog, which is just crazy. So look for a video on that later. Now, I haven't had a chance to test this yet, but there is a new 1080p 30 FPS mode coming. Um, that's going to require any of the version 2 sensor cameras. So that'd be the Nano V2, the Micro V2, and the Nano Light camera. Uh, so that's going to give us way more detail. But at 30 FPS, I think the 30 FPS is actually going to be pretty comparable to what we would see with Walksnail um, in their 1080p mode. And I say that because if you look at the time it takes for one uh, 30 FPS frame, that's about 33 milliseconds. And then you add on about 3 milliseconds for the system latency for HD0, and that gets you to about 36 or 37 milliseconds, depending on how you round. And that's glass to glass. I mean, so if, if I was going to use uh, walk snails numbers, I, I think that would be just system latency, not counting the time that the goggle needs to display the image. I've also fitted on these uh, TrueRC XAIR antennas. I had to use my own uh, coax cable that I got off Amazon and then stripped and cut to length and soldered on. I, I cut them a little too long, so when you look at this, uh, don't uh, don't judge it too harshly. It's going to look a little bit better on a production version. Uh, Hugo is sending me the uh, actual production version of this to test out. Um, so I think that's going to look great. Uh, performance is very good, obviously. It's it's what you'd expect for a, a little bit uh, better patch antenna with more gain. Um, later on in this video, I'm going to have a little demo uh, flying through a forest 
with a tiny trainer using these patch antennas. And I think you'll agree it looks pretty good. And then at the end of the video, I've just got some footage from a race day that I did uh, this Saturday with HG Zero goggles, and I think uh, you might like that too. Some of the accessories that it comes with. Um, there's there's lots of cables for plugging in analog inputs, stuff, stuff like that. There's a head tracker cord. Um, we have to know right now is the software is far from finalized, and it's getting updated um, about every other day. And right now the DVR isn't working, but what I am doing is I'm just taking a $20 USB capture device and plugging that into the HDMI output on the goggle and then recording it on my phone. Uh, so the videos that you'll see coming up are actually all just recorded from the HDMI output on the goggle uh, into a cheap $20 USB capture device into my phone. The fans are all individually controllable in the software, so I can control the exhaust fan here and the exhaust fan here, and also how much air to blow through here. I've been running it at uh, pretty much full speed, um, it, except for sometimes I vary the top fan a bit depending on how much defogging I need, and it's been working pretty good. It's also pretty quiet, especially if you're not running the top fan at the maximum RPM. I know one of the questions that you all have is, when is it coming out and how much is it going to cost? That I can't answer exactly, but what I do know is it's going to take a little longer than October, but it will be this year. I also know that Carl's going to be running a beta, uh, a public beta, let's say, at a reduced price for people. It'll be a small quantity, um, and those will be released uh, before the full product. Uh, in that, you'll be able to give feedback on the software and the hardware. Just know that uh, the hardware isn't going to change terribly much from this first uh, small batch uh, public beta release to the full one. This public beta would be uh, full injection molded parts, not any 3D printed stuff. And the printed circuit boards are full production circuit boards. So this really is a, a full product. Um, don't have any weird thoughts in your head that I'm going to 3D print the case or something like that. Uh, that's more the stage that I'm in right now with a few other guys that are testing the goggle. Um, so we're giving all of that uh, early feedback back to HD0 already. And uh, this, this public beta would be just like another stage, uh, but with a, a full production version of the goggle. So if you want more information on uh, that public beta and how to get on the list, you're just going to have to watch the HD0 Facebook page and the Discord. Uh, Carl will make all the details known uh, pretty soon, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll, you'll want to Hop on that opportunity as fast as you can. <laughs> this is, we got all these gates, basically. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> gates and flags. I mean, I think it really does a good job showing what the system is capable of. Yeah, this looks super clean. 200 milliwatt, wow. Yep. <laughs> you just want to keep on exploring. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of gaps and stuff. I'll go back to this bent over tree and then come back. It's so smooth. Going down is always sketchy. Yep. It's okay to like drive up, but yeah. 
going That's, down at a slow speed is yeah sketchy. you have to like look at the corner of your eyes and kind of plan out your route what's this oh yeah so someone's got like a hunting stand back there i think they do deer hunting so there's a guy that goes, that goes back there with a bow okay and then the kids got like a little fort back there too i'm lost i'm pretty sure i'm gonna come out in your neighbors yep you are Take a right. Here. Yep. You see my deck. What's the uh, voltage at? I feel vibration. 3.6. Okay, this, this is one of your older batteries probably. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the race I quad one. So it's the HV. So they do, you typically run them a little bit lower. They sag more. You charge them higher and then run yep. them lower. They're cheap too. That time, give one that side. It's probably a bad idea, too. <laughs> Treat. Cool. So, testing out a new lab mic. Had a fun day at the track. This is the lab mic. So, there's quite a bit of wind here. Um, Let's see how it sounds. So who, who knocked over the hurdle? <laughs> so that's a dead hurdle right, right there. We've got these new Grand Rapids Drone Racers gates. Looking pretty good. Derek set up a uh, UTT track. So really simple, tight, short lap times, especially on 6S. All in all, pretty successful race day. Had a really good time racing with HD Zero Goggle. Uh, I had perfect consistency the whole time. Uh, can't tell you how nice that was. It was just butter. Old shot cover 3.34. Hey. Oh, I'm gonna have to win now. <laughs> Good last one in first. Storm FPV lap one in second. Is your neck twisted? Lap one in third. Good last two in first. Storm How did I FPV do that? Lap two in second. Is your neck twisted? Lap two and third. Two lap three and first. Storm FTV lap three and second. Two oh. lap four and first. Is your neck twisted? Lap three and third. Storm FTV lap four and second. Oh. You have finished in first. Well, that's one way to win. 60 <laughs> seconds remaining. <laughs>